briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1978, a trademark dispute erupted between DC Comics Inc. and the Daily Planet Inc. over the use of the name Daily Planet in connection with the upcoming release of the Superman movie. Both parties sought preliminary injunctions against each other, attempting to prove their ownership of the name and the potential for public confusion. DC Comics successfully established a common law trademark, showing that the Daily Planet had become an integral part of the Superman story and that its use by the defendants would likely confuse consumers. In contrast, the defendants' association with the Daily Planet name appeared to be brief and opportunistic, adopted in 1969 in an attempt to profit from the popular Superman tale. The United States District Court for the Southern District of New York ruled in favor of DC Comics, granting them a preliminary injunction and preventing the defendants from using the name. The court's decision was based on testimonies and submissions provided by both parties, recognizing the common law trademark and the likelihood of consumer confusion under the Lanham Act. Ultimately, the defendants were barred from using the Daily Planet name and its connections to Superman, protecting the integrity of DC Comics' trademark and the public's perception of their product. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class behind.